which is crazy. And I know it's been a couple of years since I've been out of school, but I remember moving into your dorm. Um, it's a little difficult. They have a lot of rules. You have a small amount of space to work with. You want to make the place feel like home, but you also have no money. So I've got a couple of ways that you can kind of decorate, make it your own, but also keep yourself organized for school because yeah, things are going to get busy. So first I made a cork board that you can keep yourself organized. So you'll need a couple of sheets of cork board. I used paint and contact paper to decorate it. So you also need some tape, some scissors, a pen, ruler, just to do some of the measuring and an X-Acto knife. So I decided to go with a bunch of different triangles. Here I'm just measuring out those triangles on one sheet of my cork board. It's really easy to cut through with an X-Acto knife. It's a nice clean edge, so I would suggest using that. So I made four small triangles and then I cut my other piece into two larger triangles. You can do whatever design you want. And then to kind of spice up the cork board and decorate it a little bit, I used a couple of pieces of contact paper on two of these smaller triangles so I just laid that out and cut it with the exacto knife and then basically you just unpeel it and stick it on it's super easy to work with and what I loved about this is that this could actually double as a little bit of a dry erase board I tested it out this is a really funky pattern so it would be hard to read any notes that you make but if you had a plain color it would work perfectly another way that you can decorate your cork is just simply by taping it off and painting it with just some acrylic paint. So I did a couple of different designs on several of my other triangles. I had some blue and white acrylic paint kicking around so you can just sponge that on whatever design you like and then when you are all done just make sure you peel off the tape before the paint dries. Then all you had to do is just stick these onto the wall and I used some sticky foam and I thought it worked great. So for my next idea, it works great for a glass tabletop, or in my case, a glass desktop, a way to showcase some photos with just simply printed off photos and some poster board. And this is my Instagram feed. So I took a screenshot of that, then I opened up that screenshot, and then I'm just cropping down the picture so it is only six photos. So once you crop that down and you print that off, it's basically the size of a sheet of paper. So I did that with a bunch of different photos that I wanted to use. Here are my printouts and what they look like. Just did that on a regular printer because it costs nothing. If you want better quality, you're going to have to pay for them to be printed somewhere else. So once I was done that, I'm just trimming off all of the edges here trying to make sure that the white space in between all of the photos is the same I ended up having three rows of photos together and then I just took the poster board and I'm trimming this down to the exact size of my glass desktop so this is going to be the piece that we can tape all of the photos on it's kind of just the base for everything so I pasted or I taped these two pieces together as my desk is a little longer than then a sheet of poster board and then you can just align the photos however you want and all I really did was tape them into place. This was so inexpensive and easy to do and you really just have to try and line up the photos as best you can. I love this. I made it try and I tried to make it look kind of like my Instagram feed because I love my feed. I love all of those photos. It's a great way to display them and you don't have to hang anything on the walls which sometimes is something you're not allowed to do in dorm rooms. So with this glass top, all I did was taped that poster board to the glass piece in my desk, and I kind of just rolled the tape around the edges there and tried to make it hidden as best as possible and lay it into my desk. with how both of those turned out. They were incredibly cheap. I think total cost me maybe $5 to make those. Have some fun with it. If you try it out for yourself, I'd love to see what your space looks like. You can send me some photos on Instagram and on Twitter. Just follow me at Janelle Steeper and tag me in those photos. And don't forget to use the hashtag 2DIY4. And if you want to see some more dorm related uh, or decor desk related ideas, feel free to leave that in the comments below. I definitely think this works for more than just students because I actually really like it in my space and I'm not a student anymore. 
But if you enjoyed this, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will be back next Wednesday with a new DIY and good luck if you're moving in. Cheers.